morning guys what's up welcome back to another vlog i am currently driving right now on my way to my orthodontist appointment and this actually might be um my last not my last appointment but like i might not be getting new trays or if i do this might be the last set of new trays i'm very close to finishing my treatment so i'm really excited my teeth aren't quite perfect yet but i know that at the end they are gonna uh, file some of them down just um like polish them to correct the shape so that they look a little more even but i mean like in terms of straightness they're all pretty straight Okay, I just finished my appointment and I am not finished yet. I don't know why I thought that. I swear they told me last time that um, that was my last round, but we have one more box. So I go back in April and in April, um, so I still have the buttons on and stuff. I just got new aligners. But in April, I come back and that's when, if I'm happy with how everything looks, we do the polishing and we rescan and set up my appointment to get permanent retainers on the bottom. Um, and then I guess they place an order for my permanent like wear at night ongoing retainers. So yeah, we are almost done, but kind of also not as almost done as I thought because like I have a whole nother box of trays, but it's okay because we're getting very, very close to being finished. And they said that the goal right now is to bring my top teeth up a teeny bit and my laterals down a teeny bit so that they're a little bit more aligned. But we're so close to the edge. So I'm back home now, sitting at my desk. Um, I feel like I haven't shown you guys, but I like rearranged. I have my desk like in the corner now. It's kind of nice. I like it better this way. I like having like a little nook to like walk into, you know. I've been using this little glass like whiteboard thing to write down my to-do list every day just so that I can stay on task. But what's really cool about this, I'm gonna link in the description, it's from Amazon. Um, it, you can like write on it and it like lifts the back, but then it also folds out and it's like an easel. So after you finish writing your to-do list, you can stand it up. So it's really, really nice. I love this. Anything to increase the productivity. You guys, Revolve sent me some new clothes and I meant to show this stuff to you guys in my last vlog and I completely forgot. So I'm gonna do a little try on haul now. This is not sponsored, but these items were gifted to me. I'll link them in the description if you guys wanna check them out, no pressure, but they are some really, really cute pieces. First thing is this bodysuit. It is super, super cute. Actually, it's like a halter neck and then it's open back. I love the open back. Wearing a strapless bra right now. Obviously you need some kind of strapless bra. And then I got these cute white jeans. They're like a straight leg jean. They're a little baggier than I wanted. I guess I should have sized down, but maybe once I throw them in the dryer, they'll shrink a little bit. This is the next outfit. I'm obsessed with this sweater. It is actually the softest thing in the entire world. It's like a wider neckline and then like the sleeves kind of bell out like that. Very, very cute. A really thick, warm, comfortable material. It also cinches at the waist, which is kind of nice to give you some shape because sometimes sweaters and stuff can kind of make you look like a blob. And then here's another pair of pants. And these ones are actually like a cream color. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but they're not quite as white as the other ones. More of a cream color. These fit me a lot better than the other ones. And I really, really like these. I also picked out these slouchy pleated pants. These are like really trendy right now, but these are way too big on me. I actually did not realize quite how big they were until I just now put them on, but like they're like sagging. I do feel like I can deal with like this part being loose, but I would have to like hem the bottoms, but maybe I'll return them and get a different size. The color is really pretty though. Next, we have another bodysuit. This one is really, really cute. I love wearing white. White is my color. Makes me look tan and... And this one you can wear like off the shoulder or you can bring it up like that. It has really pretty ruched detailing around here. And the material is kind of spandexy. I don't know. It's very comfortable, but it's not like cotton like you would think. And these are a pair of girlfriend jeans that fit me amazing. Really wish the white ones fit me this well because these are perfect. I don't know the exact style of these, but I'm assuming it's some kind of skinny straight leg. Like they're a little bit loose, but like not that loose. And for the final outfit, we have this open knit sweater. It's really cute. It is see-through. This is not part of it. I actually um, put a white sports bra on underneath because it is see-through. So I'd have to get like a white tank or something and wear it under it because it's completely see-through as you can see. Very cute, has like a casual feel to it, oversized fit. Wearing another pair of girlfriend jeans. I think this is the exact same style actually as those other ones. It doesn't fit me quite as like tight. Like these are a little bit more baggy I feel like, but still very cute. Skinny slash straight leg jeans and these are stretchy, which is always comfortable and nice. Good shout out to Revolve. Thank you guys so much for sending me stuff and I will leave everything in the description. I don't think they gave me a discount code, but if they did, it will be in the description. Thank you. 
and I am about to make some overnight oats for tomorrow. So I'm doing half a cup of oats. And I feel like overnight oats always taste better whenever I use yogurt um, in them instead of just milk. It just makes the consistency so much better. It's way creamier. And I love these yogurts from Too Good. I always get the coconut flavored one. It's perfect. So I'm going to add that. Also adding a quarter cup of almond milk. And I'm gonna mix all this together. Also gonna add in some chia seeds. I usually do strawberries and blueberries, but the blueberries didn't look good, so I threw them away. So I'm just gonna be adding some strawberries. Before I add the strawberries in though, I'm gonna just do a teaspoon of maple syrup. It's not really a teaspoon, I'm just measuring it. What I think would be a teaspoon. This is a tablespoon, but I did less than that. It should look something like this, nice, thick and creamy and amazing. I wanna eat it right now, but it tastes so much better after it sits overnight. And then add in your strawberries on top. And honestly, whatever fruits you want, cause Tastes super good, honestly, with the more fruit. Then we put the lid on and then pop this in the fridge overnight. And I usually eat it as like a second breakfast in the morning. I'll eat something really light and then I'll eat this around like 10 or something. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and I am heading to the gym. Didn't work out yesterday, so I feel like I have to go today. We had a cold front come through, so it's actually cold outside, which is so nice. Also, I downloaded this new app that is gonna help me like plan out my workouts. I'll show it to you guys. I think it's called Flex. But it's cool because unlike a lot of the other like workout apps, this one lets you put in your own workouts because I feel like no app has every single workout. So sometimes you have like certain equipment at different gyms and you want to modify it. And this app like lets you customize things and kind of create your own workouts. So it's really cool, but it kind of it helps you plan it out so you don't have to like walk in there and figure out what you're doing. It just kind of lays it all out for you. Okay, I just got here, but I want to show you guys the app. It's called um, Flex. So I was right. And this says my freestyle because this is one that I created for back and biceps. So it literally like gives you all the workouts just like most of them do, but it allows you to customize them as well as like the weight and the sets. And then it connects to your Apple Watch and actually detects whenever you switch, I believe. I haven't um, tried that part yet, but that was based on the reviews that I read. So I'm really excited, but I'm going to do back and biceps. Um, first, I'm going to go warm up on the treadmill though. I'm all finished with my workout and I actually did not get through the whole thing because experiencing like some symptoms that my cardiologist told me to watch out for, which is mildly concerning, but like I was having some chest pain while I was on the treadmill and I was only running at a 3.5 incline, not even running, sorry, walking at a 3.5 incline at three miles an hour. And I was just having this like really um, dull like ache in my chest. But I figured like, okay, well, I'm still getting back into the routine of things. Like after taking such a long break, maybe that's why. Um, but then when I got off the treadmill, I like started to feel a little bit lightheaded. So I sat down for a minute and caught my breath. And then I went over to the free weights and I was doing um, like the shoulder press and um, like some, not deadlifts, but like, I can never remember the names of these things, but like it's with the long bar with the two weights on it. Um, so I was doing some other workouts and I just started to feel um, like my heart was just like racing when I wasn't really doing enough for it to justify how much it was racing. Like I was just sitting down doing like free weights. Shouldn't have made my heart rate go up that much and it was making me a little bit out of breath. I still finished my workout. I just didn't do some of the workouts that would exert me more. I actually swapped it out with something else, but yeah, it's kind of weird. So I'm gonna have to keep my eye on that. My heart rate got up pretty high too, which is usually normal for me. I have a pretty high 
working out heart rate like compared to my husband Chad like he his heart rate is like my resting rate back home now I'm about to jump in the shower I actually wore a hat because my hair is so greasy from this hair serum that I've been putting in because I haven't talked to you guys about this and hopefully before this vlog is over at some point I'm gonna talk to you guys about this but um, I actually stopped taking my birth control not because I'm trying to get pregnant but because I really want to start regulating my hormones naturally as you guys know the last year and a half has been really rough for me like my YouTube career has kind of just like fallen down into nothing because of the on and off depression that I've been experiencing and despite changing up medication so many times and all that I have still had these like ups and downs and I feel like the one thing that I haven't really tested yet is birth control and I've done so much research and so many women have experienced this and say that it's helped them a lot like coming off of it so I've been off of it for three weeks now um, naturally regulating my hormones and I'm just like so proud of that but since I did that I have had so much hair loss you guys like if I'm brave enough I'll insert some pictures it's really embarrassing to me like I feel shameful of it because I'm just like this is embarrassing like I don't want to be losing my hair but I'm sharing it because I hope that someone else has also experienced this and maybe they'll know that they're not alone. But my hair looks gross right now also because I'm partially sweaty, but um, I have been like losing hair. You probably can't tell, but like, like especially up here, you see how you can like just, all right, I swear it. I'm just gonna insert pictures. <laughs> but I've been using this hair peptide serum from The Ordinary like every single night hoping that it's gonna help regrow some of those spots where I'm losing hair. It's not been enough time for me to like say whether it's working or not, but if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I'm gonna start taking biotin, but part of me wants to try a different serum because this kind of makes my hair greasy and I have to wash my hair like every day, which I don't like doing. It's lunchtime and Chad just made us this yummy delicious salad with raspberry vinaigrette, strawberries and mixed greens and walnuts. And I'm eating some more walnuts on the side, so. Yay, we're being healthy. It is so cold outside. I just made myself my afternoon cup of coffee. Mm. I needed this. So apparently this is the oil that everyone recommends for your hair. It has insanely good reviews and after doing a lot of research on other people that have had hair loss, like I know it's mild hair loss, but it's really upsetting me, like especially when I put my hair up, it's like really scaring me because I'm still at the early stages of being off birth control and I could see it getting worse. So I think I'm gonna try this one out. Chad made egg bites and I'm very, very excited. So he's trying to like reduce carbs in the morning, um, like just carb related breakfast and stuff and try to consume carbs only like one meal during the day and sugars and stuff as well. But he made egg bites for us and how did you get this idea? You just saw found it online. Okay, well they look really good, I'm so excited. I don't really know how he made them cause I was in there working on my computer but used a muffin pan and they're literally baby egg bites. Some of them have onions and peppers and then the other ones have some cheddar cheese and what else? They all have cheddar cheese and bacon. Oh, and bacon. And then some of them have peppers and onions. Awesome. We're having turkey lettuce wraps for dinner. Okay, I'm finally gonna do something that I've been putting off for way too long and I'm gonna clean out my desk drawers. They're an absolute mess. My life has also been a mess, so therefore, the things around me kind of like reflect that. Um, whenever I did my video, like redoing my office closet and turning it into like a little gaming nook, it took so much for me to like actually share the footage of what it looked like in there because it's embarrassing that I let it get that bad. But you know, when your state of mind isn't healthy, like it shows. Um, but we're gonna get it all cleaned up because you know, I want a fresh start here and I've been feeling better, so I need to organize.
that I wrote when I was extremely depressed and when I started taking a step back from social media because it was affecting me really bad. This was, you know, like early last year. Um, so about a year ago today and I just found this poem. I completely forgot about it. I used to write like poetry a lot um, well before I was on YouTube, like just as a kid and stuff. It's just something that I enjoyed. And I wrote this poem called Follow Me and I just read it and um, it's kind of deep. It's also sad and it takes me back to where I was at that time, but I also am so grateful that I'm not there anymore. Um, I'm in a lot better place now, but I feel like I should show this to you guys. So I'm just gonna hold it up and you can like pause on screen if you wanna read it. I'm not gonna read it out loud or anything. Hopefully you can see that. I'll let you guys read it. eight o'clock now I look a hot mess I just put an Olaplex treatment in my hair and oh hi trooper you like my hair you smell good <laughs> um I put Olaplex treatment in my hair and oh god what are you doing he literally has to be like on top of me he's only ever happy if he's on top of me he's literally gonna sit on me ready for this literally just sitting right on me Say hi. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, for like the third time, I did an old plex treatment, but I um, usually when I do these treatments, I only do the minimum amount of time, but I'm gonna try to keep this on for a few hours because my hair needs it. Finished all my laundry, and so I poured myself a glass of wine as my reward. It's been a very nice and productive day, and now I'm about to watch um, The White Lotus. It's this very strange show that Jennifer told me to watch and she just said it's strangely addicting and I'm like okay you know I've never really watched a dark comedy before or like satire or anything like that um it's a new type of show for me but I'm like four episodes in and although it's so weird and there's so many parts where I'm like why am I still watching this I like can't stop watching it it's freaking weird if you've ever watched it, let me know. I know it's won a lot of rewards, but it is a strange, strange show. But like I said, I just want to keep watching it. But I am going to go ahead and end this here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I think my mental health is uh, on an upward slope these days. So I'm really hoping 2023 is a better year for my channel. And thank you so much for your continued support throughout the whole journey. I do have a really exciting announcement coming up. Um, it will most likely be in my next video but it'll be somewhere in the title so that you know it's the video with the big announcement. But I'm very excited to tell you guys about this, something I've been working on. But if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.